I'll remain by your side as we search. Rodder has been working in secret for a very long time. His laboratory will no doubt be well concealed. Our search must be thorough. I haven't had any success as yet, though my method so far has just been to systematically prod things, so I can't say that I'm too surprised. I'll admit, tracking down our Casus's library was a lot simpler. I don't smell anything alchemical around here, just a lot of metal and steam. I think we're getting closer. A moment. I sense... Rodder has been this way. I wish we had more to go on. I'm about to try my luck by swinging my axe into the walls. Night Hollow Vampire radiates with the power of a dark heart.
Rodder has been working in secret for a very long time. His laboratory will no doubt be well concealed. Our search must be thorough. Rodder's laboratory. I see he's adopted Zingalis' methods. Yes, this is it. I can feel the echoes of Rodder's work here. Rodda has taken my research in directions I never imagined. Dwemer machines, night hollow rites, reach witchcraft, all arrayed around that pedestal. Yes, I'm beginning to see how the pieces you retrieve fit together. He's building a bridge through the void. The Oblivion Shard serves as a lodestone to point to his destination, but Cold Harbor is precisely the place he would want to avoid. Rodda has always sought to escape Molag Ball's hold on his soul. Cold Harbor is the place where Ball's power is absolute. It makes no sense, unless Cold Harbor isn't his destination. We gather the others. We need to recreate Rodda's ritual. Fenorian will reproduce the Reach alchemy while Gwendis performs the Night Hollow rites. You must manage the Dwemer machines controlling the tonal, etheric, and kinetic energies. I will attempt to scry the stone and direct you accordingly. These Dwemer devices, they are similar to pieces of the orrery itself. Manipulate various cosmic forces, tonal, etheric, and kinetic, to chart the expanse of the void. You must keep these forces under control for my scrying to succeed. The components you retrieved from Bathar's Zell showed me that the keystones consist of these same sorts of devices, just on a smaller scale. As I conduct the ritual, I'll indicate what parts of the process require your intervention. Be on your toes. Rodder pointed us to the means and method of recreating his work. There's something he wants for me to see here. And I believe the only way to truly understand what he's done... ...is by repeating it ourselves. I only hope the risk is worth it. We are attempting to harness forces never intended to be combined to peer into the infinite, churning chaos we call the Void. I only suggest we try because it appears Rodder has proven it can be done. Besides, we have no other choice. Don't look at me. These hands weren't built to perform sensitive adjustments on Dwarven machinery. We'd be better served having old Miolan do this, but I think I can handle it. Once you start, I'll begin my part. Oh sure. You get to pull levers while I have to work some kind of dark magic with the forces of the Void. That seems fair. Get on with it. The more I think about this, the less I want to do it. Start by adding etheric power. Now, quickly. I need more kinetic power. Energy.
Quickly, help Fedorian. We're losing kinetic energy. I need more. of etheric power. Regis needs your help with the Night Hollow Rite. Ah! Adjust the tonal frequency, quickly! Just a little more! I'm losing control of it to reduce the kinetic energy! Discord, change the output! Rodder found it. A piece of land sundered from the reach, caught between Mundus and Oblivion. It is both and neither outside the grasp of Ball, or any prince for that matter. He plans to gift the Grey Host with this sanctuary. Don't you see? In their own realm, free from Moldag Ball's tyranny, the Grey Host can live forever. And with the connection to Mundus and the power of the Dark Heart, their conquests might never end. And now I see the purpose of the Dark Storm. Ah! The Dark Heart. Rodus drawing on its power. I, I can feel it tearing away. To the Orrery. Hurry. To the Orrery. Hurry!
chance you never thought possible. The door to our salvation stands open, Verandis. Come, finish what we started. All will be forgiven. Oh, brother, don't do this. The void energy is consuming you, Verandis. I can show you how to control it. Just follow me. What happened? Where'd the bastard go this time? He's gone, Lyris. To the one place where he can complete his plan. I understand it all clearly now. Rodda has opened the gateway to his sanctuary. In that distant realm, he can summon his Darkstorm using the power of the Dark Heart. He'll consume the Reach to fulfill his promise. No, not good at all. The Darkstorm requires power on an unprecedented scale. Darkness that will cover the Reach and send every mortal soul it touches into the Dark Heart. In turn, the power of the Heart will flow through the Orrery to feed the storm. It will tear the Grey Host from Molag Ball's clutches and preserve them for eternity in his sanctuary realm. Death will become as much a petty inconvenience to them as to any Daedra. They will become truly immortal. To end the dark storm, once it's begun, I need to enter Radha's sanctuary realm and take control of the ritual. I can't ask you to join me, but I won't dissuade you if your course is set. Just know that I can't guarantee we'll be able to return. Radha does the door, and we forge the key. I have to follow. I have to stop the dark storm. For as you have seen from Rodder's Oromancy, this monstrosity is my creation. Whether you decide to accompany me or not, know that I value our friendship. Rodder has started the ritual in his sanctuary realm. I can feel the pull in the darkness. Soon the dark storm will consume the energy in the dark heart. Then more people of the Reach will die to feed the heart empower this apocalyptic storm. Rudder aligned the orrery in order to make his escape. Use the stone on the dwarven mechanisms that control it. That should open a breach we can travel through. Then, maybe, I'll have a chance to stop this storm I created. I never intended my theories to be turned into reality. My research into a way to grant mortals the same immortality as vampires kept leading down dark paths. I abandoned it. I should have also destroyed it. Roger corrupted it for his own ends. When you're ready, activate the mechanisms on each of those platforms in sequence. This process should be less risky than what we attempted earlier, I believe. Roger has already aligned the device to point to our destination. Theoretically, we need only reactivate the orrery to open the gateway. Be on your guard, nevertheless. Fire up that rotten contraption. I'll be right behind you. Don't look at me. You were the one working all the contraptions before. If you're worried, I'm sure Verandas knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> 